And we are off. We're left at seven. Yep, just before nightfall. All a little bit anxious at the moment, but I'm sure we'll be fine once we get out there and uh, it's only 14 days Yeah. or so. I'm Jo and this is Rob, and we live on board our floating home Double Trouble. To follow our adventures, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. It is 4am and we left Majuro at 7pm. It was a lot later than we would have liked it to have been. We were going to try and get away to that too, but there was a big front roll through, so we decided to let that pass. It's very, very calm. We've got four knots of wind. Um, and we're just sailing down between Majuro and Arno atolls at the moment. I haven't seen any other traffic. We passed a big fishing boat earlier as we came past Majuro, but other than that, nothing at all. So not a lot else to report, really. Um, like I say, just our first night at the sea, and there are going to be at least 14, 15, 16 more of these to come. First sunrise at sea. It's always special. Um, but yeah, it has been a bit of a mission the last couple of weeks getting ready to leave. I'm really pleased that after that school went through yesterday, we decided to cast our mooring off and um, head out. Because if not, we would be just leaving around now. And uh, we've had a lovely night, to be honest. So we've got nearly 60 miles in the bag. We've got some current that we're hooked into at the moment, so we're trucking along at just over six knots, so that's uh, that's pretty good, just motor sailing. I'm going to have a bit of brekkie soon, check some emails, download the weather in an hour or so, and uh, that'll be my morning, I think. The twice a day ritual. What are you doing, Mr. B? I'm checking the weather. And this is showing that score that we've just had, actually, so it's looking quite accurate on ECMWF. Ooh, go predict wind. Yeah. Wind is due to be about what it's doing now for the rest of the day, and then tonight it's going to go to zero. Awesome. Yeah. Which is why we brought plenty of fuel. Downwind, baby. The only way to travel. Percy the parasail is in the air and we are taking advantage of not only do we have a nice current behind us but we also have a 15 knot breeze behind us and uh, yeah enjoying it while it lasts because it won't last long so if someone can remind me of this moment when we're bashing up wind that would be lovely but for now we're just chilling out we're doing 7.8 knots I'll take that morning from the helm. It is 4.43 in the morning of the 27th of August. Happy birthday to me! It's my birthday today and it's I have to say it's been a beautiful evening out on the water. We are going along quite slowly. We have got between two and six knots of wind so we have an engine on but we've got some current behind us. So we're doing about five and a half to six knots, which is okay. And the stars are out. We've had some moon this evening. Obviously the ocean is flat calm because we've got no wind. And it's been a very pleasant evening. I came on shift at three after a nice sleep and I am waffling. So I'm going to stop. Um, but yes, just to say that, have I mentioned, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Well, it's 7.30 and I'm still on school watch. We haven't been clattered by anything yet, but we still have pretty much off to the port side, a big old line of them. The one directly up ahead of us looks like it's dumping a load of rain down there now. So I'm hoping that uh, it might dissipate before, uh, before it clatters us. So yeah, just keeping an eye on it, hoping that I don't have to wake up Rob because um, he's got at least another half an hour sleep. And this is how it looks on the radar. All those orange things are squalls, including this one here, which is just under the marker, which is the one up ahead. And that's the bad boy off to our port side. 
now getting the wind from the edge of that squall. So I put the head sail out and we're romping along quite nicely. We've got current behind us. So speed to the water is about six, but speed over the ground is about eight. And we've got full sail up at the moment. It's jolly pleasant because the sea's nice and flat. And hubby's awake. Morning. Had a great sleep. There's a coffee in the fridge. Oh, unless you drank it last night. There's not a coffee in the fridge. Have I mentioned it? it's my birthday? Happy birthday. It's my birthday today. What time are the dolphins getting here? Uh, I got them booked for 10. Ah, awesome. Well, it's midday. And the squall's cleared. We didn't get hit by anything nasty. We got a bit of wind from one of them, but that was about it. And it's cleared into this. It's always a bit of a compromise. You want wind because you want to sail. But equally, it's just as stunning when it's uh, when you get days like this. No complaints from me. Oh, I never mentioned it's my birthday today. This is the view out in the middle of the North Pacific. So it's one o'clock, and it's time to fill in the log book. Uh, we keep a log um, of our journey, and every two hours we record our position engine hours if necessary, um, the um, pressure, air pressure in millibars, uh, the distance travelled and what else do we record? Oh the heading, our heading of course and anything of note but generally that's just what we put in so let me just show you what we do and we'll keep it in this book. So this is our log book, it's when we set off and this is basically just a record of our trip. And today is a special day. Have I mentioned it's my birthday? So Robson is making my lunch, as it should be. Chopped salad. <laughs> we have lots of greenery on board. Yeah, we've got loads of fresh veggies. That'll start depleting as time goes on, but for now, make the most of it, eh? Yep. The cracking day out here on the water. Just lovely. Not very. Okay, yeah. yeah, clear blue skies, no wind. It's a good job it's a nice day because do you know what day it is? No, what day is it? Have I been on it? What? My birthday today. It's a surprise. Funny how they creep up on me. <laughs> Absolute pleasure, it's been a stunner. Isn't it? I ordered them for 10. They're just fickle. I mean, they're, they're so. I signed a contract, they've been booked for months. Yeah, they wanted money up front. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so never trust the dolphins, guys. It's the rule. So, tomorrow. Very nice. Dinner on the deck? Yep. You shouldn't have filled your bowls before, should you? I shouldn't. It's very cool. <laughs> I got a bit over, over excited, I think. Packish, <laughs> oh. darling. Yeah. Green curry. It's over. Mm. My cup runneth over. Lovely. There's our sunset. So we settled into life at sea and the days ticked by. Sunrises and sunsets, eating and sleeping, boat jobs and keeping watch, sunshine and squalls. Nearly seven days and 800 nautical miles later, we were back at the equator.
morning, three hours until we're at the equator. Well, hopefully, we can pick up some speed. I look gorgeous this morning. You do actually, you I look feel wonderful. Gorgeous, I have to say. You look like you've had three hours sleep. Yeah. Same as me. We knew it was going to be an upwind slog, but I didn't think it was going to be this much of a battle over the wills against current and just, it's the current, there's the killer down here, there's, there's up to three knots of less than the current, it's just yeah. toilet. We thought we'd done some easting uh, and it turns out it's only just enough, it's all a learning curve. Go and get yourself a cup of tea. Alright. Love you. Love you too. 30 in the morning and I've got the rum out. Sailing drives you to drink. This is for Neptune, it's not for me. We never drink on passage. It smells good though, eh? Right? Our, our best rum. That's our only rum. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> so this is ready for when we cross the equator in a couple of minutes time. You look like you're about to wash your vitamins down with a shot of rum. Yeah, I'm just getting my <laughs> breakfast ready. <laughs> breakfast of champions. <laughs> Multivitamins and rum. <laughs> so we're all ready for our equator crossing. I have my Marshallese crown on. Marvis put a cheetah shirt on. Yeah. Oh, you got your mantle, a little mantle thing. Oh, there. I've done this. Yeah. And uh, breakfast stranger now. Mm. I'm gonna go and wash up. And uh, yeah, it's a wee bit fancier than it was the last time we crossed the equator. Um, so we won't be stopping and we won't be having a swim. We'll just be offering up a gift to Neptune. We are after all shellbacks already, but we're not far from crossing now. It's very exciting. It's always exciting crossing the equator. We'll be going from uh, north to south this time. From, uh, where are we going from winter? No, summer to, summer to winter. No. It's autumn. Autumn to spring. No, it's autumn, August. It isn't oh. autumn yet. Yeah, know. autumn to spring. Something like that. Anyway, <laughs> we're going south. <laughs> we know exactly what's Sorry. going on. And just out of interest, <laughs> all of those who, who like numbers, when we crossed the equator, we will have done 821 nautical miles, possibly 822 nautical miles. Now, if we'd come straight down the rum line, it would have been 435 nautical miles. But thanks to wind and currents, hmm, almost double the distance. The long, the long way. The long way around. Yeah. I'm still bashing. So this westerly current that we've got, once we get across the equator, it's downhill, right? So therefore we should have the current behind us, because the water should run downhill, is that correct? Yeah, that's how it works. Easy. I know all about sailing. Just stick with me, you'll be alright. So, here we are in the North Pacific. And here we are in the South Pacific. All in a day's work. Welcome to the South Pacific. And as we have just crossed the equator, we have a wee snifter. And we're offering it up to Neptune for a safe passage over the oceans. Cheers, Neptune. Cheers, Neptune. Thank you. Nice work. To safe passages. <laughs> Seven o'clock tonight, we would have done a full seven days at sea. Uh, had a great day today, actually, um, a much needed day where we had the boat running really conservatively uh, and everything has calmed down a little bit. We've had some uh, tough days getting here, to be honest, getting over the equator this morning. Um, has made for a really positive day and uh, yesterday I was a bit down um, it was all just getting a bit too much for me I think the trip and the approach to Fiji and working out we've got some weather that's coming up from the south that we're having to time and stuff so today we've had another look at it we've got some advice from some of the guys on our shore team um, and uh, we've made a plan that we're going to keep heading down towards Tuvalu, um, doing as much easting as we can, and then uh, we will likely hove to and wait a few days for the weather to pass through Fiji, and then we will continue on. So that is the plan. Uh, I think it has helped today that I've had a lot of sleep. It is a beautiful evening here. Uh, we're dodging a couple of fishing boats, but they've seen us on AIS and they have 
moved to avoid us, which is nice of them. And just looking forward to going into the evening. We've got a, a nice meal planned. It's all is right with the world today. So it's interesting how that goes with your mood on, on the boat. Sometimes you just have down days. Um, sometimes it always all comes good again. So that's, we had a reset and uh, all is right with the world today. So this is what I'm making for dinner. It's a favorite of ours. And it's a uh, river cottage veg. Hugh Fernley Sternley, as we call him. Hugh Fernley Whittingsall. And it's probably a bit hot for us here when we've got lots of pumpkin. So I'm making it right now. And fry okay. my fry my onions. My oil nice and hot. And uh, get cracking with the dinner. A little bit rolly, one hand for the boat, but we're, uh... Oh no, you're catching me as I put a store-bought tomato sauce in. We don't use them often, do we? I would normally use passata, but I couldn't actually find any passata. Or make my own sauce. But it's actually quite a nice one. Yeah. Nothing unnatural in it at all. That's good. No additives, so yeah, it smells pretty good. Nice jar too. All right, that in there. Let's have a look. Oh wow. Pumpkin goes in next mm. along with the uh... saucy stew goodness. Uh, adds a half of the cilantro. It says here, chance it'd be a fine thing, wouldn't it? Remember the last time we had cilantro or coriander, as is there in the English world, and half the parsley. Give it a week or so and we'll be uh, herbed up in Fiji. Oh yeah, we will. Ta-da! Here's the finished article. It's a bit of a rib sticker for a night when it's 30 degrees. Looks good though. <laughs> but it's enough for lunch anyway. <laughs> Thanks for cooking, Joe. That's all right. And our journey towards Fiji continues. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next time as we continue our longest ever ocean passage. You can support our travel simply by subscribing to our channel or check out our Ko-fi page. The link is below. If you're enjoying our videos, then we'd love you to leave us some comments and give us a thumbs up.